There we go. Woo. All right. That was very stressful for no reason. It's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and my kitchen and another video today guys I am super excited because today is the first episode of what I'd like to call cheap food Expensive energy. Yes, so I am trying to do this thing where I show you guys some meals that are cheap but they seem expensive and also I want to kind of like you know showcase this, you know, the expensive energy to show you that you don't have to spend a lot of money to have expensive energy. You see what I'm saying? Like, you can be, you can have like rich energy, but not actually be financially rich. And then you can also have poor energy and be financially rich. You see what I'm saying? So it's a very philosophical thing. But today's video, by the way, is very kindly sponsored by Skillshare, which we will talk about a little bit later. Oh, by the way, guys, so to channel my cheap life, expensive energy, my Klee, um, <laughs> I'm wearing this, um, I mean, pretty nice dress. <laughs> I was going to say beautiful, but like, I don't know. It's, it's pretty nice. Okay. I'm wearing this like, you know, pretty nice dress and guess how much it was guys. Just guess. Did you guess? This dress cost me five Canadian dollars. That's like $2 US, okay? This cost me five Canadian dollars. Do you know why? Because I bought it at a consignment store. Yes, my friends. And I bought it in the lovely $5 bin, which I like to rummage very often. So I love it. I love this dress. Not only am I wearing a $5 dress, but I bought it at a consignment store, which means I am reusing someone else's items, which means I am not contributing to creating further waste or more items. So that's another like kind of expensive energy sort of vibe. Okay, like environmentalism, you know, someone that cares about the environment, like that's like, you know, that's expensive energy. But anyway, so for the first episode of Cheap Food Expensive Energy, we're gonna make pasta. Okay, I feel like pasta just gives that really, really like elegant vibe, but it's like so cheap. Okay, it's one of those things where I very rarely order pasta when I eat out, because I'm like, I know that, you know, I can make that for like a dollar. So we're gonna be making some pasta. I wanna try to make like a rosé sort of pasta, and it's gonna be really easy. I searched up a few different recipes, and it seems that people just like to use hummus and tomato sauce. <laughs> Sounds perfect, okay. But another thing that I wanna do is I wanna roast some vegetables, okay? So that's another like kind of thing that you could do to make yourself feel like kind of, you know, expensive is like roasting vegetables. Like if you go to a restaurant and you order like roasted vegetables, it's like expensive, okay? So just roast your own vegetables. So I have carrots. Carrots are one of those things, once again, that a restaurant charges $20 for like three carrots that they've like glazed in like a, a balsamic glaze. So let's do something like that. So yeah, I feel like carrots definitely give that kind of elegant vibe, you see? Like roasted carrots. Oh, you know what I'm missing? I'm missing some wine. One second, let me just, let me do this first. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is use also some broccoli. Now, I don't know if broccoli is like cheap where you guys are i don't know for us it's kind of like middle ground i guess so use whatever veggies okay you want to use you don't have to use that's the thing it, it doesn't actually have to be expensive to you know make it seem expensive okay that's the trick here okay here we go so we're just gonna lay this out onto a baking sheet and um and then with the carrots I'm not even gonna chop it. You know what, actually, maybe we'll do like a little, hmm, maybe we'll do like a little long carrot situation. Does that look fancy? I don't know. We'll find out. So, okay, we've got, we've got the fancy carrots. We cut them up very fancily. I have here some extra virgin, guys. Okay, there's not much left. I'm just gonna use it all. There's maybe about like a tablespoon in here. We're just gonna drizzle, okay? Drizzle. And then we're just massaging it, okay? All right. And now we're gonna do a mixture of lemon and herb seasoning, which I love to put on veggies, and 
my Italian seasoning. There we go. So let's put this in the oven and let it cook and, and then we can make the pasta. Now for the message from our sponsor. Skillshare. I feel like Skillshare is the absolute perfect sponsor for today's video because it is all about expensive energy but not spending lots of money, okay? And Skillshare is just that. I feel like one of the, I guess, attributes of expensive energy is having knowledge and skill and things that you can't buy, okay? Which is knowledge and skill and self-development and growth. These are things that you can do no matter how much money you have. And Skillshare is going to help you do this. So if you guys don't know, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of different classes on so many different topics to grow your creativity, your skills, your talents, whatever you want to grow, Skillshare probably has a course for you. So they have thousands of classes on photography, videography, anything creative. They also have courses on business, entrepreneurship, all kinds of different topics. And it's such a great place to learn in the comfort of your own home. Right now I'm taking a class. It's called Plants at Home, Uplift Your Spirit and Your Space. It's an awesome class. It's all about plants, but the teacher is amazing and so hilarious and great. Loving the energy again, the energy. It's all about that energy. Anyways, loving this class. Class. I really want to learn more about plants and how to grow plants and how to really take care of my plants I do have some plants at home, but I don't think I know exactly what I'm doing So I would like to learn more about really cultivating the plant space And I feel like that's another part of you know expensive energy, you know having you know Just a really great environment again, no matter how much money you're spending. It's not about that It's about the environment that you're creating So I'm really excited to take this class and finish this class and learn all about plants and how to take care of plants. Now, if you guys want to check out Skillshare, well, today is the perfect day because they are offering the first thousand people to click the link down below a free trial of Skillshare. So you can try out however many courses you want to try for free. Guys, I'm really channeling that CLE energy, cheap life, expensive energy. So right now they're offering the first thousand people to click the link down below a completely free trial of Skillshare so you can try it out for free and after that it's only $10 a month to continue your premium membership which means you get access to all of their classes unlimited access to learning so many different things for only $10 a month after your free trial so you get to try it out first okay you see you see okay it's awesome it's an awesome thing it's amazing I love it so much check out Skillshare the link is down below thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video now let's get back to cooking okay so first thing I want to do is cook up the pasta, right? Because we're going to have to wait for the water to boil. So let's put the water on the stove. We're going to get that started. And the pasta I'm going to use, guys, is going to be a farfalle. Am I saying it right? Farfalle, farfalle, farfalle. So this, I feel like it just gives expensive vibes, you know? So I'm going to make two servings and eat the other one tomorrow. All right. Two servings. Two servings. So I do, yes, I do measure out my pasta. Don't judge me. Otherwise, like, how do you know if you're making the right amount, you know? So we're gonna make two servings. So that's gonna be 85 times two. So that's 170 grams. Ah! See, it already looks, you know, expensive. Farfalle. So we have that ready. We're just gonna wait until the water boils, of course. And then we can prep the sauce. So the sauce is gonna be very easy, guys. You don't need to be complicated. So I'm just gonna wing it at this point. So I did see a few different recipes that um, showed, you know, different types of ingredients and I didn't really read too much into the ingredients. I just kind of saw that a lot of people used marinara sauce, like store-bought pasta sauce and hummus. And I was like, that's genius. So you can make like a more fancy, like cashew cream to go with the rosé pasta, but if I can use store-bought hummus, I'm gonna use store-bought hummus, so. It's more like cheap food, chaotic energy, right guys? Okay, so I'm just gonna let this heat up. What's happening? Oh, that's the water. Anyways, okay, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna do onion, first off. So we're gonna have half an onion. Is that a lot? Maybe that's too much. Let's do a quarter. Let's do a quarter of an onion. We're gonna dice it. Oh, you know what I was gonna do? 
Get some wine. Yeah. Okay. Let me get some wine. There's something. There's just something so great about drinking and cooking at the same time. It gives you the expensive energy. You know, the expensive. It gives me the expensive vibes. So. Okay. So here we are. Here we go. So dice, dice, dice. I'm very excited for this. So we have the onion. Um, I'm also gonna use some, ooh. So we're gonna make king oyster mushroom scallops. Originally I was gonna put mushrooms in the pasta, but instead let's make scallops. <gasps> I'm so excited. So this is a king oyster mushroom, okay? This is one of my favorite mushrooms. It's so good. I buy it at the Korean supermarket and these are not that expensive. Like I get a pack of three and today it was on sale. It was like two packs of three. So you get six of these and I think it was like either three or four dollars. Like it's not too bad, okay? So basically what you want to do is just chop them in this like scallopy shape. Oh, I'm so excited. And then I'm also gonna just, you know what? I'm just gonna take like the ugly parts and then put it in the pasta, okay? So. I think the pasta water is boiling, so let's put the pasta in the pasta water. Let's do 11 minutes. Wow, that's a while. Okay, so what we wanna do, let's start with the sauce because I'm getting stressed out. Okay, so we're starting with the sauce. Just a tiny amount, my friends. You don't need a lot of oil to cook. This is the biggest mistake people make is using way too much oil. I mean, you can use a lot of oil if you want, like totally, like do whatever you wanna do. But um, for me, it's not necessary. And I do feel that people use a little, like a little more than necessary amount of oil. But anyway, I'm gonna start woo, with the uh, onion, okay? You know what, let's just add the mushrooms too. <laughs> Why do I always do this? E, there we go. Whew. All right, that was very stressful for no reason. We're gonna do a cup of the tomato sauce. So this is just store-bought pasta sauce, guys. You don't need to get too fancy on me. And we're also gonna do hummus. This is store-bought hummus, once again. I'm just gonna use a spoon, pretend it's a tablespoon. We're gonna do two tablespoons. Ooh, it's gonna be good. Mmm. And I think we also want to add in some non-dairy milk. Ooh, see, it's already looking rosé-like. This is like genius. And like, you know, the great thing about hummus is that there's already so much flavor in the hummus. Ooh, guys, it's already like, what the? Mmm. I'm shook. I'm shook. It's happening. Okay, so you know what I'm going to do? Mmm. We're going to add... Just like, you know, maybe like a, maybe two tablespoons, that was about two tablespoons of almond milk or non-dairy milk. I don't know if it's necessary, but it'll kind of thin it out a little bit. Ooh, it's looking like, guys, like, <laughs> this is such a great hack, my friends. So for seasoning, I'm just gonna add some Italian seasoning. Let's just add a lot. And you know what's great? Pepper. Pepper is fantastic. We're gonna do some garlic powder since we ran out of garlic. And some pepper, ooh. Oh God, you guys. Okay, so that's the sauce. Okay, so we're gonna make the uh, scallopy thingies out of the tomato. What? <laughs> guys, I think the wine is getting to my head. We're making the scallopy thingies out of the mushroom, not tomato. So all I do, I don't know if I'm, you know, doing this right but I just make like little slits, like not all the way. And this is gonna kind of create that like, I don't know, they do this with scallops, I guess. I don't really know. It's been a long time since I had scallops. So now we're gonna make scallop mushrooms. This is already very hot. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use some vegan butter. You can use oil, of course. So we're just gonna use like a little amount. You don't need a lot, once again, just a little bit. Or again, you can just use uh, oil, but the vegan butter is so good. It just adds a lot of flavor, so highly recommend if you if you have it, use it. Okay, if you don't have it, use oil. Oh, oh, guys, 
I'm feeling I'm feeling the expensive vibes. I'm feeling it. Or maybe it's just the wine. Who knows? I'm just gonna stick this into the sauce. I'm gonna flip these. So we're gonna, ooh guys, I mean, come on. Come on. Look at that. It is beautiful. I can't wait. Okay, so now let me show you what's going on in the, uh, the other side. Oh, you know what else I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add some veggies in here. I was gonna add some spinach to add some color in here, but I realized we do have some veggies that are roasting up nicely, by the way. I might need to flip these over. Ooh, look, look. Ooh la la. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna flip flipsies, the carrots, um, and then just kind of mix together the, uh, the broccoli. And I kind of, I want it to be more charred. So I'm gonna turn up the heat a little bit. Okay, so broccoli is looking nice. Okay, but I do want it to be like charred. Like I want it, I want it like, I want like some, some black action. Like burnt vegetables seems to be the, the trend amongst expensive restaurants. So we kind of want to burn it a little bit, but not burn it, you know? hasn't been seasoned at all. I think what I'm just gonna do is add some garlic salt. Now you can make them like scallopy, you could probably cook them in like kelp, you know, thingies, but you know, I don't need to make them scallopy. Garlic and salt. There we go. Fancy, fancy, very fancy. We're feeling fancy. I mean, how lovely does that look? It looks absolutely fancy and lovely. So, I think we're almost done, actually. All right, let's just wait until the vegetables are done and then we can plate everything. All right, friends, so. I think we're done. So I wanted to char the, um, what should I call it? It's the carrots a little bit longer, but I'm also impatient. So we're just gonna go with it. Let's just go with it. So we're gonna, we're gonna plate the rosé pasta. Oh my god. I mean, if you can do a better job at plating, that would be fantastic. Looks great! Again, half the expensiveness, guys, is the presentation. You, you should know this, okay? So, the reason why certain things are expensive is because they make it look pretty. This is something I'm trying to work on. Making things pretty. Let's get the carrots. Ooh, see? See, I do wish they were a little bit more charred, but again, I'm hungry. And then the broccoli, oh, doesn't the broccoli look fantastic? Okay. Now again, I would like to add some sort of, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Protein in here, but I was not thinking properly. But that's okay because I'm gonna be eating more after this. <laughs> and just gonna be drinking wine. So lots of carbs, it's totally fine. And here are the scallops. I mean, this just tops it in terms of, you know, making it look lovely. I have cracked pepper somewhere, but ain't nobody got time. Mm-hmm. Oh, guys, here you go. Here's my first meal. Not too bad. Um, cheap food, expensive energy, episode one. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was more like uh, chaotic energy, but I'm trying to really learn the expensive energy part. Let me just pour myself some more wine. I promise I won't drink this whole bottle today. I'm drinking that like I'm drinking soju. So there's my cheap but expensive meal. It's all about that expensive chaotic energy. <laughs> Honestly, today's video was more uh, of a chaotic energy than an expensive energy, but you know what? This looks expensive, does it not? I mean, like if I plated it a little bit better, this would be like $30 at a fancy restaurant, okay?
All right, you guys. Here's my cheap, expensive meal. I'm excited. Let's give it a little taste. Let's be fancy. Mmm. Just use <laughs> store-bought pasta sauce and store-bought hummus. We gotta have the, the oyster, okay? Not the oyster, the scallop. Mmm. Guys, if you haven't tried king oyster mushrooms, oh my god. It is the best. This is how you channel the cheap food, expensive energy, okay? Mm. It's so good. Fantastic. Also, I never buy wine that's like over $20, so this was like, I think this was like $11 on sale, okay? All right, you guys, so that was my very first episode of Cheap Food, Expensive Energy. I hope you loved it. I had a great time. It's not just because I drank a glass of wine through it, but it definitely made it a lot more fun. If you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know down below. I will do more of these. I'm excited to do more of these, and I always love doing a new series on my channel. So if you wanna see more cheap food, expensive energy videos, leave some comments down below. And of course, thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. If you guys are interested in checking out Skillshare and really increasing your value, your knowledge, your skills, then check out the link down below, guys, because the first thousand people to click that link down below will get a free trial of Skillshare. And then after that, it's only $10 a month. So link is down below. And guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe, and let's really all channel that Kli energy, cheap life, expensive energy. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to be enjoying this, okay? I'm gonna be enjoying this, and I will see you guys in my next video.